Today's lesson is about how to calculate the surface area of pyramids and cones. A pyramid is defined as a polyhedron with only one base, and all the lateral faces are triangles, meeting at a common vertex. In other words, the base could be any type of polygon, as long as all the lateral sides leaving the base are triangles, and all those triangles meet at a single vertex or point. So you have lots of different types of pyramids, and they're all named after what sort of base shape they have. The ones that you've seen in previous years of math most likely were rectangular pyramids or square pyramids, but this year you'll also see hexagonal pyramids, and so on. To calculate the surface area of a pyramid, your equation is surface area equals one half times perimeter times the lateral height plus area of the base, one half PL plus B. Now this is really important, the difference between H and L heights. When we're talking about H height of a pyramid, we're talking about how tall it actually is. That would have been shown by a height through the center of the pyramid. But if we're talking about slant height, also called lateral height, we're talking about the height of one of the triangle sides. It's leaning. It's not telling us exactly how tall the pyramid is. It's telling us a slanted height. The reason why this equation works is this. If you break down the net of your surface area into pieces, that net would contain four equal triangles, and one square base. Now, you know how triangle area is one half base times height? For all four triangles, the height is L, the slant height. And here's a cool shortcut for finding area of multiple triangles that are the exact same size. Instead of doing one half base times height for each of them and adding up the total, you could do one half and then the combined base length of your four triangles times the height they all share. So when you do one half base times height, you get one half PL. That's where the one half PL comes from. And then you just add on the area of the base. Let's walk through one problem together. A good first step is really uh, starting off with the same process you would use for finding surface area of a prism. You'd zoom in on your base. Oh, it's a square pyramid, so the base must be a square. And you'd find the area of that square base and the perimeter of that base. Because a square is a type of rectangle, you just do base times height, 32 times 32, you get the area. Perimeter, all the sides would be 32, so 4 times 32 would get you the perimeter. Then you could plug it all in. So look at your picture, and in your head, decide what you would plug in for L, the slant height. Would you plug in 30 or 34? you should have chosen the 34. 30 is the H, the normal actual height of the pyramid. You want 34, the slant height of one of the side triangles. You plug it all in, and you should get 3,200 square inches. Quick note, if your work looks right, but you're not getting this answer, it could be that you're dividing by two after the base in your calculator and um, that would throw things off because I would half the base. You don't half the base, you just want to half this. So you could either type in your calculator 0 0.5 times 128 plus 30, times 34 plus 10, 24, or you could type 128 times 34 divided by 2 here and then the plus 10, 24. If you divide by 2 at the end, it's going to mess up your answer. Pause here and try question 2 on your own. Go ahead and check your work. Question three is a little bit different because if you look at question three, they're not telling you slant height. They're telling you the actual height of the pyramid. They're telling you H instead of L. So you have to figure out what slant height is. So you can find the base and perimeter like normal. And then for slant height, if you draw the slant height and you connect the base of it back to the height at the center of your pyramid, it makes a right triangle. And you know how to solve right triangles. You can use Pythagorean's theorem. 
So for t today, just round to the tenths place. Once you solve for Pythagorean's theorem, that is your slant height that you would plug in for L. And you should get around 219.6 square meters. Pause the video here and try question four on your own. Go ahead and check your work on question four. Next, we're going to talk about how to calculate the surface area of a cone. A cone is defined as a solid with one base that's a circle and one vertex. Notice how similar that is to the definition of a pyramid. A pyramid also has one base and one vertex. The difference here is that for cones, your base is a circle. So you could think of a cone as a pyramid with a circle base. And you can use that fact to derive the formula for cone surface area. So let's start with our equation for surface area of a pyramid. But because the base is a circle, we know that the perimeter is really circumference, 2 pi r. And we know the base is really area of a circle, pi r squared. If you plug those in for p and for b, notice how the 1 half times 2 will cancel out. And that gets you the official formula for surface area of a cone that you'll be using for all the back page. Surface area of a cone equals pi r l plus pi r squared. Go ahead and try number five and check your answer. When you're done with number five, pause the video and complete numbers six, seven, and eight on your own. Check your answer number six. Notice how for number seven, you don't know the slant height, so you'll have to use Pythagorean theorem to solve for it. A similar result with number eight, another one where you don't know slant height. This time though you lucked out, slant height actually gets you a whole number when you use Pythagorean's theorem. For word problems like number nine, it's often a good idea to summarize what the problem is telling you and what the problem is asking you on the side. They're telling us lateral area and slant height, and they're asking what the radius is. Notice how this problem is talking about lateral area, not full surface area. When they ask about lateral area for any shape, lateral area really just means the part of the surface area that doesn't include the bases. So if you look at your surface area formula for a cone, the part of that formula that's telling us the area of the base is a pi r squared. That's the area of the circle base. So just lateral area is a pi r l part. You can plug in 13.5 where l is, and then you can divide both sides of your equation by pi and 13.5 to get r by itself and you get that your radius is 11.5 meters. Great job, everybody. Don't forget to turn in a picture of your notes on Schoology when you're done.